What have we got today? Beans. Beans. Pokemon beans. Mighty beans are on the scene. Mighty beans. They really something when they're jumping. Mighty beans. That's right, except it's Pokemon. They've just released Pokemon Mighty Beans. Can you believe it? From Fortnite to Pokemon. I'm just kidding, of course. These came out in, I think, 2005? I mean, Bulbapedia says 2005, but the packaging may indicate 2004, but maybe they came out in 2005. This was just the copyright up until the point. I don't know. Either way, it says um, Melbourne, Australia. That is where me from. By Moose. Mighty Beans, Pokemon Advanced. We have Pikachu and Why Not on the front. These packs contain two beans, and this big one be containing five beans. They literally have this exact same packaging on the beans that they do now, like the Fortnite ones. With the, um, you can try them out with Tilt to Try Me. Except unlike the Fortnite one, this is actually a mystery! I don't know why they decided to remove this feature for the shitty Fortnite ones. We can see all the beans! They decided to show you everything that you were gonna get and then still try to go, oh, there's different rarities. Shut up! If you know what you're gonna get in the pack, they can't be placed into rarities, Jesus Christ! Speaking of rarities, on the back of this we see that there is common beans, rare beans, and ultra rare beans. Now, this seems a little bit random. We've got Pikachu, who's a common, because obviously everyone wants to get a Pikachu. Uh, Pichu and Raichu are both rare beans. And of course it says common Pokemon, rare Pokemon, but then you have people. Does this mean that they are also Pokemon? But hey, that's just a theory. A game theory. And then they decided to make Groudon and Kyogre just rare beans. And then check this out. All the way down here, Zigzagoon is an ultra rare. He's up there with Latias and Latios. All right, without further ado, let us try open up some... How do I open these beans? Let's open up some poker, uh, some poker beans. Who do we have on our first pack? Let's see. We have a Grovile, Grovel, is that who that is? Yes, Grovel, <laughs> it just says Grovel Bean. Uh, number 20, Grovel Bean. I guess it is 2004. It's got 2004 on the actual bean itself. They're not much to marvel at. It's a, a real shitty wraparound just on a green bean. <laughs> And up next, we've got Hairy Yama. The Hairy Yama Bean, number 49. I guess at least the top of that looks like he's balding head. All right, Hairy Yama is an ultra rare bean. This shit is just without any rhyme or reason. I just noticed, check this out. They actually put feet outlines on the bottom of them. All right, on to the next pack. Get a lot of this big warning label. Please don't choke on bean, small dumb children. Uh, I paid a ridiculous price for these beans. I don't even want to say. Something absolutely stupid. Just so I could do the video. Um, I wouldn't recommend buying them. Uh, if you want to buy them sealed, I think it's like one guy selling them for just some dumb price. Here we go, we've got an ash. That's probably one that you'd want. We have, look, look at his feet. What are his bones all crooked? Why is he standing to the side like that? And then second in our be- Oh! That's one of the ones I definitely would have wanted. If you could count these beans as anything, Latias Bean. That's literally the last bean. There's 58 beans. Take a good look at his feet. What are those? Each one comes with a little paper checklist as well. All right, let us open the next bag of beans. We have two more beans here. One it. Wait. <gasps> oh my goodness. Seriously? Latias and Latios. We've got both of them from like three packs. The ones that I'd want. There's Latios Bean with the same pair of legs. And we have a double up of Ash. And I think all the humans are common beans. Let's open up another bean pack and let's see who we get. We have a... How are we getting doubles? Honestly, a Hairy Yama. And then up next, we have... Oh, this is new. So, oh, uh, Wobber Fett. Interesting. How do they do Wobber Fett's legs? Let's take a look. Oh yeah, that looks like Boba Fett's legs. A retarded butterfly. He's a nice blue. He works a little better as a bean because he's literally bean-shaped. You got the top of his head that looks normal-ish. 
Number 27. Let's see who we got on the next one. We have, oh, I thought it was a double, but it is not. It is Why Not? Number 26. Why Not Bean? Ah, I guess the tops of the heads sometimes have a little uh, head footprint. His feet look very, very strange. And then we have a Dusclops. Number 29, Dusclops Bean. Top of his head, little bit of detail, bottom of his feet. What the fuck are those? Seriously, what is that? Jet fuel? Was this a turbine for a plane? Imagine tuning in to watch an adult man open beans. But here you are, everyone's favorite Pikachu. He is a common for what it's worth. Look at like the, just the shitty rippling in the middle because it's this just dumb paper wrap. Number one, Pikachu bean. Looks really cool having the one there, I guess. Uh, we've got the last bean and the first bean. And we have, that is deformed. That is not Wigglytuff. What is wrong with its head? Why are its eyes different shapes? Honestly, what is going on there? That, that looks bootleg, does it not? Maybe it's just like the perspective. This eye looks like it's bursting and is actually a bean within itself. Um, its feet, for some reason, they've just made it look like it's wearing grey Gucci flip-flops. Top of its head, also just a grey smudge. I don't understand. Maybe Wigglytuff actually looks like that and I've just never paid attention to its one bunged eye. Let's open up some more beans. Who do we have? We have, oh, that's a good one. That's a fan favorite, Blaziken, going for a punch right into your face. Oh, he's lining up a second one in the back there. We've got number 18, Blaziken Bean. Now, we have, oh, it's the rare Poochina Bean. Number 30, there we go. Let's take a look at the head. Pair of ears, makes sense. Let's take a look at the feet. Gray blob, let's bring up the Blaziken. Ah, yes, Blaziken's famous parallel line legs. Fantastic detail. Getting quite a collection over there. Just remember guys, you must be five years or older to ride this bean. The only acceptable doubles I'm willing to take are Latias and Latios. We have a Golduck. I was wondering for a second why he was wearing like a jujitsu headband, but that's actually pretty cool. He's glowing and he's got his, his jewel is going haywire. That's sort of interesting to see in Pokemon art, let alone bean art. Golduck, number 25, top of his head. Yeah, that looks standard. Feet, a little fucky, but those are duck legs. Who is second in the bean bag? <laughs> the bean bag, get it boys? Shop it. Top of his head, what is that? Bottom of his feet, just a, I don't know, a portal to another world. His interesting uh, color scheme though, with the division of the black and the purple blue. All right, we still have some beans to open and the big one, but I think it's time to open up a Burning Shadows. We have Burning Shadows here. There's, there's the code card and we have the promo in here, which there's the Alolan mouth, mouth. Oh, look at that swirl on that one. That's a good get. Of course, we have the shitty Lucario coin. Let's try our luck today. Here is the code card for you guys back home. One, two, three to the front, getting rid of the steel slash metal energy. We've got Wishful Batten. We've got Thick Wick, Lunatone. Finipi, Caterpie, Ladybug, Inkay. We have a Lucario. And on the end, this time, we've got a beautiful holographic vile plume. Now, Back to the beans. Should start getting more doubles, yeah, I thought so. We're getting doubles early on. Uh, we've got a Why Not. There is only, f what was it, 58? And then we have, ooh, that's a double double. A shop it. All right, only one more of these, then we're gonna open up the five pack. See if it's special in any way. Maybe some exclusives. Come on, why do they make this so hard to open? Just cut my nails, so it's a little bit harder. We have, Sure. Oh, Mudkip! You guys know I heard you like Mudkips? That's a me- that's a fucking old meme. You can see his little fin, his Mud Skipper fin on the top. And he's- oh my god, his feet are so cute. Do not take that audio out of context. There we go. Mudkip Bean. He's number 13. And last from the Bean 2 packs, we have- oh my god, I thought for a second it was double Mudkips in a single one. We've got Marsh Stomp Bean, number 14. 
Now all we need is a swampet. But before I continue, I'm going to open up one of these random bags. What do we get? Something new? Yeah, that's something new. Rowlet, or as they call him in Japan, I guess. Mokuro. Mokuro. It's got a little clip. You can open up. You can put your weed in there. You can sit on the back of one of your anime figures. You'll have to speak up. I'm beaning. It really kind of hurts me to have to rip this packaging, but it's got to be done. Oh no, my checklist. Oh, oh, that's, oh, I like that. Oh, I really like that. All right, so first, let's just get our little dust skull out. And he is a common, which actually makes sense since you could actually see him in the packaging when you're picking him up on the shelf. Number 28, uh, that's the top of his head, looks like a little ice cream swell. Also, the bottom looks like an ice cream because he's a floaty, floaty ghost. Now, I'm going to have a look at these four mystery beans, but I'm going to have to stop you there because it's time for Max Morifo's Postcard Collection! It's the segment where I usually open up postcards, but I will open up these things as well. Obtained from the Pokemon Center online when you gamble on the slot machine. Um, these ones are ones that you actually have to line stuff up and win. We have seen the Mewtwo before. Better luck next time. But it's your lucky day. I'm going to chuck these in for free. Look how cool these are. Pokemon cards. Also from the Pokemon Center, I'm not sure for what celebration or whatever. I don't speak Japanese. Fish card, Magikarp, cool little bow. I guess people can, oh, okay. It just sits like that and then you take the fish out. Probably not how you do it, maybe it is, I don't know. There you go, you can write your stuff in there. It's a nice little paper card. It's actually kind of classy. And then this one, which is very, very cute. What an episode, you guys get to look, oh! Okay. That is super cool. That is awesome. I'm assuming that just says happy birthday or whatever celebration this is. That's one powerful Pokeball housing all these Pokemon just all flooding out. All right, it's mystery bean time. What do we got? Here we go. We have, all right, we, well, it turns out the not exclusive is or anything like that because we have a Mudkip up next, someone who is pink and looks fucked. Jigglypuff. Not as fucky as the, the Wigglytuff, but look at the notes. It's number five, Jigglybuff Bean. Some angry notes on this side and some surprised ones on that side. This art looks super bootleg, like someone else designed it. The consistency is very, very strange on these. And then we've got a light yellow Pichu. What happened to his ears and head? What is going on there? That weird missing line? Then the ears are sort of there, but there's no line at the bottom. This shit feels like it, it was made in a third world country and was sold at a market. Look at this ear! How far across is it? With a, It's very, very strange, this product. Number two, Pichu Bean. Pichu Bean? I hardly know her! Um, and then lastly, we have a... Ooh, he does have nipples. Nuzleaf Bean, number 56. Golden Mega Rare. Sorry, um... I say he has nipples because, if you're not aware, I'm uploading on the MaxMofo Games channel playing Pokemon Sword. Please watch that. And very recently, my seed dot evolved into a Nuzleaf and I realized it had nipples. And I was wondering why I never noticed it had nipples. But here we are, 2004 Mighty Beans Pokemon Advanced. I now know Nuzleaf has always had nipples. There is the leaf on the top of his head and just some random smudges for feet. I hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> whatever it was. If you would like to buy any of my merch, maybe as a Christmas present. A lot of good stuff there, boys. Check it out. You can click the link at the top of the description or you can go to max.shirtswithaz.cool. That website has a lot of other clothing and things. If you do buy anything that else that is not my merch, use code MOFO on checkout to get 10% off. That also does support me. Otherwise, you can click a video on screen. Oh, I'll put my... um. Sword Let's Play, please check that out. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you guys whenever I see you.